hello thank you so much for clicking this video so today on the menu we have coconut rice this is a very simple but delicious recipe and if you're planning on cooking coconut rice follow this recipe to the tea and you will be glad you did so the first thing is my meat for this recipe i'm using goat's meat i already chopped them into small small bits and I'll be seasoning with just onion, seasoning cubes, salt, and pepper. This pepper is a mix of scotch bonnet and some cayenne pepper. That is the shumbo. So just cover that and let it steam. Just a few minutes later, you can see how it's doing. I'm just going to give that a mix, properly mix up everything together and then add some water for it to cook furthermore. If you're using beef or any other um, meat, that's still okay. Next thing is my coconut. So this is just about one medium sized coconut. And I'll be setting aside this two piece for later. Stay tuned to see what I'll do with it later. <laughs> so I'm going to blend the rest of this one off camera. After blending, I'm using a sieve. You can also use a sieve cloth, or a mesh cloth, or a chiffon cloth to sieve out this. That can be even more easier. I'm just using this method because that's just what I feel like using today. But you can use any other method to drain out the juice. So this is what we have after draining it out. And this is the, the chaff. I'm going to set this aside. To start cooking proper, I'm going to be using some coconut oil. I just got this from a nearby store. You can use any brand of your choice. And you can also use vegetable oil if you don't have coconut oil doesn't really matter that much but it does add some flavor to the rice remember we're making coconut rice so we need every coconut infused ingredients in the rice but it's still a matter of choice and after adding the oil i pour in my meat just a little oil is okay and i'm going to cover this if you're not using a non-stick pot you want to keep an eye on this so it doesn't burn you can just cover it and let it, you know, fry without interruption. And then you can get back to it when it's done. But if you're using a normal, maybe aluminum pot or any other pot that is not non-stick, you want to keep an eye on it. I'm going to add my onion. And I'm also going to be using garlic, just about two tiny cloves of garlic. You can chop this, you can, whatever means of getting it into the pot that you decide, <laughs> that works just fine. But I'm using my garlic presser to just make the work easy for me. So the next is my pepper mix. I have scotch bonnet in this, cayenne pepper and some bell pepper, that is the shombo and the tatashi. So just pour in that you don't really need um tomato for this recipe but if you are a super fan of tomatoes you can you can go ahead and do that but you really don't need it for this recipe if you're making this recipe for the first time just follow this video to the last you would be you would be glad because this this coconut rice was, was a bang it really really was so delicious to season, I've just added some seasoning cube and some crayfish. Mix that properly. The next is my dried fish. I'm going to be adding some dried fish. You can use smoked fish, smoked chicken, whatever you have available. 
just make use of what you have so once i'm done mixing i'm going to pour in my coconut milk i didn't pour everything in at once i don't even know why but i didn't pour everything in at once so there goes in the rest of my coconut milk mix that properly and you know at this point you test for seasoning check for salt check if the spice level is okay for you and you can add your salt or pepper or whatever if you feel the need to once that is done cover and let it boil so now it's boiling fine i'm going to give it a mix before adding in my rice So I'm using basmati rice for this recipe but you can use any rice of your choice it doesn't really matter you can use the normal rice so at this point of cooking I was just scared I'm wondering if this pot is going to contain this rice because this is just a very small portion of rice that I just washed I didn't parboil it I just washed the rice before adding it here but I was very much concerned if the pot will contain everything but it did it did so back to the coconut that i set aside at the beginning so now i'm just going to grate it with a small grater and this is what i have just some little um coconut flakes so i check on my rice and it's looking good smelling good I'm just going to give it a mix and also to make sure it's not burning. Just give it a mix and then reduce the heat. I also rinsed my pots for um, cooking the meat. Added a little more water because the rice was slightly tough. So after that, I'm going to cover, reduce the heat and just let it steam. So this is a few minutes later and now I am adding my coconut flakes. Listen guys, this is a different way to elevate your coconut rice. I just thought about this and I decided to try it out and it was so, so good. That flakes adds to the flavor and it has a little crunch to it. So when you are eating your food, you still, like the coconut flavor in it was just complete, just complete. I regretted not adding all of the flakes that I grated because I was scared like I didn't know how it was going to come out and it, it did come out very very well. I wish I added everything but don't do too much with the flakes please <laughs> so this is what my pot of rice is looking like it tasted so nice it looks so nice it's a simple recipe but you know mind-blowing result amazing result please give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to our channel if you've not done that already thank you to everyone that keeps subscribing keeps commenting i love you guys i will be seeing you in my next video till then take care bye